What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, this one's going to be kind of brief. I'm just going to be talking about uh, the two uh, main, well, the two differences. Some of the differences between the tray loading and the slot loading computers. Uh, which one I prefer and then why. Um, so we got here, 1998 Rev-A, uh, Bondi Blue, I think. I think it's a Rev-A. It could be a Rev-B, but I'm pretty sure it's a Rev-A. I don't remember if it says here. I don't know. I think it says on the inside, not right there. But judging that it was built October 25th, 98, I'm going to say probably a good chance that it's a Rev-A. Anyways, point being... And then we got 400 megahertz summer 2000s indigo so which one do i prefer personally slot mode slot load machines all the way 100 percent, no doubt about it uh, i've talked about this in other videos briefly i only have two tray computers this bondi blue right here and that bondi blue right there and the reason for that is because i don't like them uh they're more difficult to work on if you want to do anything like take out the pram battery or upgrade the ram first step okay pull the motherboard out pull well not not even the mother pull the whore pull the whore pull the whole cpu assembly out right you got your motherboard with the cpu which has the ram slots on it and of course the, the one ram slot is underneath a cover so then you have to disassemble that and then the hard drive and CD drive is also part of that. And then you have to di disconnect the screen. You have to disconnect two power cables, I think. Then you got to try to jam it in so that the <laughs> this slides back into place. It's incredibly annoying. Um, and of course, the quickest that you could get one of these in was a 333 megahertz, which is, I mean, for 1990, I guess nine probably is what it would have been that's not that bad but definitely not good in the standards of you could get these up until or up to 700 megahertz right so uh anyways first off we got the obvious differences right this is like a like a it's got like a little texture to it almost uh and it's not like fully translucent okay this one i mean it's dusty as i mean you can see that but it's very translucent uh there's no texture to it uh and then you can see that they removed the shielding as well so to me visually i mean this one looks newer just looking at the two like if you didn't know which one was released when you'd guess that this is the newer model i'm gonna say nine and ten people would say that this is the newer one just to me it looks more sleek um and you also notice if i stand here and then stand here this one is actually a little bit longer, I'm pretty sure, uh, than this one is. Not by a significant amount, but definitely just, a, there's a slight amount of difference, um, which is noticeable when you have it on a desk, especially when it's up against a wall. Um, okay, so let's spin it. So this is facing forward, and this one is facing forward. Okay, so visually, looks-wise, really doesn't matter. I prefer this, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so, so so far they're pretty tied, I'd say. Okay, so what what do you get with your your tray load machine? Other, I should say they're not quite tied. This one's much more difficult to work on. So we got one point going for this one, and zero for this. Okay, so what do you got? You got your power button here. You got your dual headphone jack. Uh, your CD drive, you could only get a CD drive in these. This, which is an infrared um, sensor, and you could beam your photos to the computer, which obviously they got rid of that pretty fast. I don't think, I don't know why they even thought of that, but that's okay. And then you got your microphone right at the top. Okay, turning the computer sideways again. What do you got for ports? Uh, microphone, headphone, two USB ones. Ethernet, and then your built-in... I think these are also 56K modems. Standard came with, I think... Uh, I want to say 32 meg of RAM, but it might have been 64. And it did come with an expandable spot. But I think it was the Rev-C models. It could have been Rev-B, I don't remember. Maybe it was Rev-D. I, I have not... No, Rev-D slot machines, I think. Anyways, point being... 
they got rid of that. So you could, that was never officially supported, which is, ugh. okay. So you got the same screen, I mean, same size screen, same front, pretty much. Um, different CD drive. Uh, so, you know, okay, moving on to this one. Okay. So you got pretty much the same thing, microphone, power button, dual headphone jack, CD or DVD drive. But I'm going to discard the DVD drive factor because, I mean, it's a newer one. So, yeah, okay, it could, I mean, 1998, I would doubt that this would come with a DVD drive. I can understand, you know, 2000, okay, maybe, sure. Okay. This drive, much better than this one, significantly. It's slower, but it actually works. Whereas these, you know, the, I'm sure probably after, you know, the whoever owned this for five or six years... It struggles to eject the disc. It struggles to suck it back in. It's just it's incredibly annoying. And then sometimes you got to take the bottom piece off or get like a screwdriver and wrap some tape on it to stick on it to try to pull it out. Totally just, uh, it's incredibly annoying. Then you got these speakers. They're foam and they just fall apart. If you have an iMac G3 that doesn't have blown up speakers, you don't. <laughs> like... They might not be yet, but if you turn it at full volume and play any song for longer than 20 seconds, they will blow up. The foam just rots. Now, to be fair, back in the day, these sounded way better than these ones do, but these ones are paper. So if you're actually looking for a machine that you're going to use, like, let, let's say to play games on or whatever, the speakers on these you can use and not have to worry about them blowing up, whereas these ones, they're either going to already be blown up or you're going to blow them up. So... You can buy replacements on eBay. I never have, but you can crack the case apart and replace the speaker itself. Maybe I'll do a video on that, but, you know. Okay, so this one's winning. They're tied now, I'd say, for CD drive and then looks and, you know, the ability to uh, upgrade this easily. Like, the consumer could do this. You just flip it upside down and more RAM. There you go. Whereas this was, like... I mean, the consumer still probably could do it, but, I mean, I'm sure most people didn't because it's still going to be hard to do. Okay, now we're getting to some real ports. So we got FireWire as well, which is a pretty significant improvement. And I know that, yeah, you could get these without FireWire if you got the 350 megahertz, but, I mean, majority of them had FireWire, and... I don't know, I probably had like three 350 megahertz machines, and the first things I did was swap in a 400 or 450 megahertz motherboard, so eh, I don't really count that, but. Okay, which one will be faster? This one, they made them up to 700 megahertz. More video RAM, able to add more RAM. This can run 10.4, this can only run 10.3. Um, CRT-wise, they're pretty equally crap. Like in the stand, like, like this one might be more likely to die than this, and the only reason for that is because it's older. So I wouldn't really worry about that. We'll do a boot up test. We'll plug them both in and turn them both on at the same time, um, and see which one boots up faster. Uh, and that's that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, is to me these look better. They're easier to work on. Uh, and they're they're always going to be faster. This you have kind of more reliability with you know the use of the CD drive and the speakers, um, but to me it's not worth the trade off. I'd rather have a slot machine with a better chance that it's going to die than one of these. But at the same time, I also have two of these, so my opinion's not. I mean, I got eight billion of them. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's plug them in and see what they do. Okay, so this is my other Indigo that I have. The one that I, like, my first iMac I ever bought. Um, the friggin... I, I fire up the other one and I forgot that it searches for... Uh, I don't know. It shows a picture of the world. I assume it's looking for a server to boot off of. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, anyways, and it does that for, like, 45 seconds. And then it boots from the operating system. Uh, so, anyways, that was not really a fair test. So I'm going to start the, these two up at the same time. Uh, I don't think I can, I can do this, maybe. Okay, I don't think you'll be able to see, but three, two, one. Don't. 
Oh, they both made the noise at the same time, so I feel like that's fair. Screen just turned on on this one. Both running the same version. Both have fresh installs. This one's got 512 mega RAM though. This one's probably got like three megabytes. So no, I'll check after though, just to see. And this is a 400. So this is only slightly quicker than this one is processor speed wise. But yeah, you can see it's, it's cooking right along. I mean, it is only slightly quicker, but also I actually have stuff on this computer and you can see it's just opened all of that. Whereas this has nothing on it. So it literally has a fresh install and that is it. Whereas this, I mean, I used it, right? So it's got actual things on it. And I mean, if I tried to play Duke Nukem on this, it'd probably explode. Let's see. Five hundred twelve megabytes, four hundred fifty megahertz. Okay, so it, it is over hundred megahertz, uh, more than the other one. So I'm gonna shut this down. Oh yeah, the CRT in this one makes some funky noises. A little sketchy. It's funny though, because the higher that you leave it, or sorry, the longer that you leave it on, <laughs> the less sketchy noises it makes okay um let's see yeah so it's almost got the same amount of ram but it is significantly slower processor speed wise so eh. but there you have it now you know which one boots up quicker and which one can load quicker and believe it or not it is the one that's spec higher I know, it's very incredible. Who would have thought? Uh, anyways, if you'd like to see any other videos, uh, let me know. Uh, I probably will make um, some videos on these um, in the near-ish future-ish being the keyword. I'm definitely going to make a video on the unboxing of that. I don't even think I ever tested that. See if it works. I bought a local from a guy that's bought stuff off me. I think I bought something off him. I bought that off him. I think I paid, I don't know, somewhere around like $300 Canadian. Uh, which, I mean, I'm not getting rid of it, so I feel like that's about what it's worth. Uh, I, although I'm sure you could get more off eBay. And then I traded him a Power Mac G4 for this iBook couple months after the fact and he lives in the same town as me which is great um so yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and uh like and subscribe